How long is the MCAT? Well, you've heard about the challenging length of the test, but how long is each MCAT section? How much time can you afford to spend on each question? And how long will you be taking the test for from start to finish? In today's video, I'll answer all of these questions and break down the test section by section. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you prepare for the MCAT, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. I'll break down the MCAT sections, tell you how long the test takes, and tell you how to best manage your time. So out of the 230 total questions on the MCAT, each section has 53 to 59 questions. The average value of each question is around two points. Most questions on the MCAT are passage-based, while some are discrete questions. Passage-based questions follow a passage describing a scientific situation, while discrete questions do not relate to the passage and directly test your scientific knowledge. Let's break down each MCAT section. The chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. There are 59 questions, 44 are passage-based, and 15 are discrete questions. Next is the critical analysis and reasoning skills section. Out of 53 questions, all of them are passage-based. 50% of the passages will have humanities content, while the other 50% will refer to social sciences. While there are fewer questions in the car section, the passages within this section tend to be longer and a lot more difficult. Next is the biological and biochemical foundations of living systems. There are 59 questions here. 44 of them are passage-based and 15 are discrete questions. Lastly, there's the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior section. There are 59 questions here, 44 of which are passage-based, and 15 are discrete questions. So in total, the entire MCAT has 230 questions, 185 are passage-based, so that's 80%, and 45% are discrete questions, that's the other 20%. Now, how long is the MCAT and how long will it take you to complete the test on test day? So the testing time for the MCAT is six hours and 15 minutes. When you include the introductory steps and breaks, the total seated time for the MCAT is just over seven and a half hours for students that use the optional breaks between sections. On exam day, you'll complete each section of the MCAT in the following order. The first is the chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. Next, the critical analysis and reasoning skills section. Next, the biological and biochemical foundations of living systems. And lastly, the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. Most sections are 95 minutes in duration except CARS, which you will have 90 minutes to complete. Because the MCAT is a computer-based test and the computer keeps track of your time, you do have the option of submitting a section early, creating the possibility to complete the test in less time. It's good to keep in mind that submitting a section early doesn't mean that you can take a longer break before the next section. It just allows you to move on to the next section sooner. So now what about the breaks? So after the first section, the chemical and physical foundations of biological systems, you'll have an optional 10 minute break followed by the car section. Then you will have an optional 30 minute mid-exam break to regroup and to eat lunch. After lunch, you'll complete the biological and biochemical foundations of living system section, followed by another optional 10 minute break before moving on to the last section of the MCAT, the psychological section. Keep in mind that the time breakdown that I've mentioned doesn't account for your entire day. So your actual MCAT day from the moment you wake up to the moment you walk out of the testing center can easily take nine or 10 hours, depending on how far you live from the testing center and how long your morning routine is. So with all of this said, how can you best manage your time? So for cars, aim to spend 10 minutes per passage on the nine passages. For all other MCAT sections, aim to spend eight minutes per passage-based question and one minute per standalone question. Keep in mind that this is the average time you should spend on each question or passage, but some passages or questions are easier and take less time, and some are obviously more difficult and take longer. So this is gonna wrap up another one of our videos. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in the video. Is there a particular section of the MCAT that you're struggling with? Let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you with my recommendations. If you'd like us to help you prepare for the MCAT, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.